It's midnight. I've been working 12 hour shifts. Well, Friday night was an eight hour shift. Saturday night and Sunday night are 12 hour shifts. <clears throat> it's midnight on Sunday night. I've been here since 7 p.m. I won't leave until 7 a.m. I'm tired. I've been working. I've been editing some videos. And then I decided to get out my uh, cell phone and edit, or actually make my own video. <laughs> I've got me a cup of hot tea. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of that, but there, there's steam coming off of it. <clears throat> Oh, woo that's hot. At work, they have, well, we have a little tiny break room where I'm at. I mean, it's just big enough for a refrigerator, a sink, a microwave, a water dispenser that filters and dispenses either cold water or very, very hot water. And then there's one of those uh, coffee things that you can put these little packets in and, and th you know, you've either got different flavored coffees or, or different flavored teas. I think we have two, maybe three flavors of coffee. I had a, I had a cup of coffee when I first got here. Um, it was a uh, donut shop flavor. <laughs> Didn't really taste like a donut to me, but it, that's the name of it, donut shop. Uh, so I had a cup of that, and now it's midnight, and I've got me a, a cup of hot tea. <clears throat> it's 42 degrees outside. I checked the thermostat, 42 degrees outside. It's about 62 degrees in here, and it's really kind of chilly. They do that, you know, number one, to keep the facility cool. Uh, number two, to keep me from falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got bored. I was sitting here wondering, you know, what am I going to do tomorrow? I get off work at 7 a.m. Tomorrow's supposed to be partly cloudy, a little bit warmer. You know, the rain, has, you know, has kind of slid past us. It's, it's rained for the past few days. And, of course, I've been busy because I'm working uh, my long days and sleeping. I mean, working my long nights and sleeping during the day. <clears throat> I get tonight over with, and I don't have to come back until Friday night. So I'll, be, have to, I'll get off work Monday morning at 7 a.m. Don't have to be back to work until Friday night at 11 p.m. Of course, my nose is always running. Ew. No, it's not the pandemic. My nose runs. My nose has been running for probably off and on for six months. Starts in the fall and runs up, you know, up, up until like mid summertime. Because I always have some kind of allergy getting to me. I'm getting ready to eat. Um, some kind of gravy on toast. And it's good stuff. It smells really, really good. Um, I'm gonna drink my hot tea. Don't know what to talk about other than hot tea at midnight. <laughs> oh man, that, that almost sounds hot tea at midnight. Hmm. Maybe I'll name the video that. Oh. Very hot tea at midnight. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Oh, I probably should have put a little cooler water in there. But I was sitting here. Um, I've got this laptop. Well, I'm filming on my cell phone. My cell phone's sitting on this laptop right here. And then right there, I got my personal laptop from home that I brought in. And I'm editing videos on that. I don't have it on the internet. It's not connected to the network. It's just standalone. It's sitting right there. And uh, that, that's what I'm doing, you know, my personal video editing on. Um, but that's for something else. That's not for my YouTube channel. That That's something else. Um, on that screen right there, up there, I've got other stuff on. And uh, I was sitting here looking on that. And... You know, I, I, I was I was I was seeing this thing about you know people be kind of being disgusted with with you know the way things are going in the world. Uh, you know, if the sickness is going around, the pandemic and all that good stuff. And they were talking about preparations for you know the economy taking a, a, a dip or you know other things like that. They got certain names for it, but I'm not going to sit here and blab those names. Uh, but they were talking about what you should stock up on, what you should prepare for, what you should think about, you know, maybe because our lives are changing already, we're changing our daily habits, we're changing our our what we spend our money on, we're, we're, we're changing what we spend our time doing. We're changing a lot. So this one video that I ended up watching tonight, it was Josh Bernstein from the, the Josh Bernstein uh, channel on YouTube. And he's talking about how, you know, some of his subscribers have said that, you know, they cannot boycott China by not buying Chinese products because when you go to somewhere like Walmart, right, 80%, probably 80%, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm going to say about 80% of the products in Walmart are probably made in China. They're cheap, they're inexpensive, most of them are junk. But people buy them anyway because over the decades, as Walmart has grown and Walmart has been the place to go because of discounts and, you know, Kmart and Sears and Big K and all these other places like that have, have you know, their businesses have gone and dropped down. You know, where you almost do not ever say a Big K or a Kmart or, you know, Sears for that matter you know, other companies like that, that used to be pretty big here. They were selling American products. But Walmart sells a lot of Chinese products. A lot of other companies sell a lot of Chinese products. Right, but he, he was saying that a lot of people are saying, boycott China, don't buy Chinese products. Well, and then he says, that'd be really hard to do because so much of what we have in our homes, so much of what are in these stores are manufactured in China. Well, he came out with a list, you know, of, of American companies that make American goods in, well, the United States, American Made in America companies that are United States based companies that have United States citizens or Canadian citizens, you know, as 
as uh, their employees. When, when you say made in America, a lot of people think, oh, you know, that, that means in the 50 contiguous United States, but it's, but it's not, right? America itself, a lot of people don't get this. They, it just doesn't click in their head. America, what does that mean? What does that word mean? Isn't it a Spanish word, Amerigo? Right? Meaning what? The rich land? I believe something like that. Those of you that speak Spanish can correct me and, and tell me the true meaning. Right? It's kind of like Costa Rica. The country down below Mexico. Costa Rica. Right? Meaning the rich coast. Did you know that Costa Rica is in America? Mexico is in America, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, the country Panama, right? Costa Rica, Canada, they're in America. They are on the continent of North America. So when you say buy American, buy American-made products, what are you saying? You're saying, hey, go buy something made in Guatemala. Hey, go buy something made in Mexico. Hey, go buy something made in Canada. Or buy your house in Puerto Rico. It's in America, right? It's in the Caribbean, but Puerto Rico is part of, you know, it's, an, it's, an, it's a United States possession. So there's a lot to think about, isn't there? When you say buy American, buy American made. For those of you who don't know your geography, there is also another continent called America. It's called South America, the continent of South America. Where is it? It's in the Southern hemisphere below the continent of North America. So when you say buy American, what are you really saying? Buy something made in Argentina, because Argentina is in America. It is in the continent of South America. Brazil is in the continent of South America, right? Colombia, Venezuela, Chile, Peru, they are all, Paraguay, Uruguay, they are all in America. So when you say buy America, buy American, what are you saying? Basically, I think what Josh Bernstein was trying to say in his video today was when you go to the store, if you want to protest against China, just don't buy something that says made in China. Buy something. If it says made in India, if it's made in India, it's probably a lot better quality than made in China. You know, I used to go and buy clothing for myself, you know, because I had a career. I still have a career. I just don't buy clothing much. Uh, but I would go and I'd buy things like shoes, belts, you know, ties, things like that. I went through several belts, like dress belts, right, for wearing casual, to, to work casual, in casual dress to work, right? And I went through several of those because over time they'd fall apart, right? What looked like leather was actually le uh, like layers of cardboard and it would come apart and the layers would come apart and it, it looked like junk or the or the buckle would look really pretty and shiny when you first get it and within a week little flakes are falling off right i bought a belt that says made in india i, I think i've had this belt for probably 10 years it's got a, I'm wearing it right now. It's got a solid brass buckle on it. 
it's real leather, right? Not something, not car, not layered cardboard or nothing like that. It's real leather. And I'm satisfied with this belt. I could wear this belt for another 50 years and it would still be good. It is a good quality made product from India. I don't think I'll ever buy another belt made in China. Why? Because they're junk. They fall apart. They're nothing like they are advertised that they are. And it's the same way with a lot of other products. You know, if I was to buy, say, a shirt, say just a cotton shirt, right? Get a good quality made cotton shirt. It's probably from Pakistan or India or somewhere in the United States, right? Because there's a company in the United States that makes really, really nice flannel shirts. Really nice, le uh, really nice cotton, t you know, shirts. But I don't think I'd ever buy one that says made in China. Because there is a quality difference. A very, a very big quality difference. Right? So I think what, what people are saying is when... when in order to protest China and not buy Chinese products doesn't necessarily mean that you should just buy something made in the United States or made in America, right? You should buy something other than something made in China. So I guess that's my midnight rant. My hot tea at midnight rant. <laughs> I'm just ranting. Had nothing better to do. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's still hot. Mm. All right. I guess I've protested uh, made in China or protested China enough tonight. See ya. Talk to you later. Bye.